Hello and welcome to this tutorial video on how to edit a tag layout in Adikio software. Tag layouts can be easily customised with Adikio. To choose your own tag layout, go to the settings view and open the layouts tab. Select the desired layout from the list and click the pencil icon to open the design module. This design module interface is made of several parts. The design area, where you can arrange the elements on your tag. The item list area, where you can check that the information displays correctly on the tag. Note that a quick filter option is available at the bottom to search items. On the left side, you will find all design tools, allowing you to add a shape, a text, a price, barcode or an image. Finally, on the right side, you'll find the properties related to the selected element on your tag. To customise this layout, we will add elements coming from the item list along with static elements. Let's start with elements from the item list. The easiest way to add an element from the item list is by drag and drop. To add a text from the item list, let's select the column header for the desired text and drop it onto the tag layout. Move the text to the desired position. You can also edit its size, font or alignment using the element properties located at the right of the screen. To give space for future elements, we need to move existing ones. Let's now add an image from the item list, also by drag and drop. The image appears on the tag. We will get back to the image properties later. To add a barcode from the item list, let's repeat the same operation. Drag and drop the barcode column header from the item list. At the back of the layout, for instance. Note, to be read properly by a barcode scanner, the colour of the bars need to be black and the barcode background white. If it is not the case, change the colours of the barcode. Go to the barcode tab and choose black. Then, in the Fill tab, choose White. To add elements from the item list, you can also use the design tools on the left of the screen. This method is particularly useful to add static elements on the tag. Static or fixed elements are elements which appear on the layout regardless of the selected item. Let's add a fixed text using the text tool from the left of the screen. Start by drawing an area on the layout where you want the text to appear. To edit the fixed text, double click on it. Let's use the same method to add a price field. Draw a price field on the tag and from the Properties tab, enter the price information. Note that you can also adjust the price preset from this window to choose your own currency, for instance. By clicking on User Defined Format, you can completely customise your price field. To add a new shape, choose the Shape tool located on the left. And select the shape of your choice, a line for instance. Draw it on the layout and adjust its size or thickness. By default its colour is white, which is perfect for print. Finally, let's add a static image, a company logo for example. Using the Image tool, select Fixed Image, then Image from Disk. 
and draw the area on the tag layout. A window appears inviting you to browse the image from your computer. Choose your image and click Open. Make sure your image is located within the selected area. If needed, adjust the image and click on Acquire. To be printed properly on the tag, the image needs to be set as monochrome. From the Image tab on the right, click Monochrome. In our case, the image colour is the same as the background colour. Therefore, we need to invert it to white using the negative option. Note that you can use any image of your choice. All you need is to make sure the image is suitable for monochrome printing. Note if you use tag holder accessories from Everless, pay attention to leave some free space on your layouts. We're now finished editing our tag layout. Make sure to save the changes made to your layout and click the cross icon to go back to the settings view. To start with a blank design and make your own, click the plus button in the layout tab. Use the filter to select a blank layout from the layout browser and customise it in the design view using the methods we just explained. For more information and details about features presented in this video, please read the frequently asked questions available on www.adikio.com. Thank you for watching.